Hi, Cambridge Springs Public Library. We're going to do a little crafternoon. Um, it's been raining and it's just a good time to do a craft. And um, much as we love books here, sometimes books get damaged or um, they just outlive their usefulness. And so we may as well make them into something uh, beautiful to have around our home. And we're going to do a little bit of folded book art today. And um, there are lots of really complex patterns that I've seen done. Um, this is super, super easy and um, can be done in a minimal amount of time. So um, and I'm going to include the link in on the comments, but I got this from Heather Eddy Art, um, E-D-D-Y, HeatherEddyArt.com, and it's the Be Still My Heart pattern. And it was free usage, so, uh, but I just want to give... Um, credit where credit's due. Um, so when you go on her site and you look at this pattern, the first thing, um, isn't that cute? So this is just an old book um, that was in our discard, didn't sell at the book sale. Um, and uh, so we may as well make something really beautiful out of it. So the first thing we need to do, I'm going to set this guy aside, um, is take any old book hardcover works nice because then it's going to stand up um and can you see on the sides here i drew it asks you to draw 13 lines one eighth of an inch apart now i wear these and i have old eyes um and so i thought oh i'm going to be super clever and draw them a quarter of an inch apart because that was easier it was easier to see it did not make that pattern fyi so um i just pulled my book uh, a part like this to make it easier to mark and I started in about the middle doesn't have to be super precise which is nice and and I drew seven one way and six the other way okay so um, an eighth of an inch apart and um, I uh, just used my ruler across the edge to kind of square that up so I could make sure they're parallel okay if you wanted to be really, really precise, measure in from the edge, each edge, and and match the lines. I didn't do that. I just lined my ruler up here and made the mark, and it worked. It worked fine. I mean, good enough for me anyway. Okay. So, likewise, when you start with your folding, I open my book to about the middle. Um, I didn't count pages. A lot of the really intricate designs um, require you to count pages and do a lot of math, and uh, I'm not into that. This was a lovely, relaxing design to do. Um, and when you get onto her site, you'll see um, uh, these are, it only takes 15 folds to make one heart. Now, that's each of these hearts 15 folds so obviously multiply that out tw times however many hearts you want um so see on this first one you i'm going to try and do this guys i'm going to juggle a little bit okay first fold line eight and line 11 okay so let me dial down a little bit here and so you start with the book as if you're going to read it, and then you turn the pages away from you, turn the opening away from you. It's going to take a little bit of juggling on, on my part here. And then you open it up to about the middle, okay? Now, this one says on the first fold, we're going to fold down on line 8 and on line 11. Um, so... We're going to count over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I just put my thumbnail there. And the important part to kind of make it pretty is that they're 90 degree angles. Well, the publishers have done a really nice job because you can kind of line up so that it's a nice straight line. Okay. And then page or er, mark 11. So. That was 8, 9, 10, 11, and I put my other thumbnail there, so that's 11, 
and I fold down and I match it up with the nearest line and you got the first one done okay and so you move on to the next so then it is 7 and 12 is your second one so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and I just stick my thumbnail there and there's 13 lines so that's 12 now this one didn't have a didn't have text down here so I was just going rogue the next one is 6 and 13 1 2 3 4 5 6 and I suppose that you could certainly try to number these um, and 13 you know these lines so that you wouldn't have to count um, but it's just not that it's not that uh, hard and then we go 5 and 13 1 2 3 4 5 and see we're just doing we're <laughs> we're doing every librarian's nightmare we're dog earing all of these pages um, don't dog ear my library book pages but if you buy one of these bad boys at at a book sale whenever we're allowed to have one um, then uh, you go ahead and do this um, so four one two three four and like I said guys go ahead and look at the pattern so I mean this is just a tutorial so then when you once you do get your pattern um, you'll know where we're going so four and thirteen now three and thirteen okay then there's thirteen and two we line it up against that text so we have a nice 90 degree and 12 1 and 10 see those nice let me see back to 2 and 12 and 3 lining up against the, that text so we have a nice 90 degree angle and 13 and now 4 and 13 one, two, three, four, five, and 13 six and 13 well there's no text on that part we're gonna have to trust ourselves huh Seven and thirteen and then eight and eleven. All right, so that didn't take me very long, according to my timer nine minutes even with the blah 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 at the beginning and look look guys that was pretty cool wasn't it so now just keep doing that um so if you want to continue with the right side up hearts you know because you're going to pick it up and look at it right because you're impressed with yourself as you should be so make sure you have the book facing you like you're going to read it face the pages away from you and then just start right over start right over with this pattern and you are going to have um, those right side up hearts now if you notice on this one um, this is a mistake uh, but you know what does Bob Ross say it's a happy little accident or something um, so do you see how these ones are opposite from these ones they're upside down um, all that ended up happening so facing the book like I want to read it and turning it this way creates a heart that is like this 
um, if you face the book like you're going to read it and face the pages towards you and then start folding, the heart is going to be the opposite way. Whoops. So I think that's just so sweet, you guys. And uh, I think you're going to really enjoy this, um, this little tutorial. And um, it's certainly something that uh, you can teach your kiddos to do. And um, now, after you're done, you can go ahead and erase this. I've seen um, it where people, where this, this edge that's um, exposed in here, they've taken watercolors and just done a really beautiful job coloring the interior of that book. Um, I've seen people glue um, pearls and things around these hearts. You can um, do a little ribbon across this book and tie a bow. You can really embellish this however you want. But, um, oh, I hope you guys uh, take some time to do a little crafternoon. It's a bunch of fun. It's really relaxing and a uh, great way to spend time with your family. We're hoping to see you guys soon. We miss everybody and um, take care of yourselves. Bye.